क्वेश्चन इज गिवन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स अंडर 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 स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इयर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेट्स ई सोल्यूशन नाउ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स we know the value of square if we are writing square root of x so we can write this square root of x is equal to x power 1 by 2 right we can write this way so if there is square root of square root under square root of x is equal to we can write this uh, square root of x that is 1 by 2 and again here 1 by 2 so x is equal to 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 now square root square root square root triple square root of x is equal to we can write x is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 so it will become 1 by 8 x power 1 by 8 now square root of x square root of, square root of under square root under square root and under square root of x is equal to we can write x power 1 by 16 Two two one by two one by two one by two one by two. So it will become one by sixteen. Now, if it is five times square root, then one, two, three, four, and five times. Five times under the square root of x is equal to we can write x power one by thirty-two. Right? Now, this is the value of this term. So let's substitute this value here and. Then see what we will get here. So uh, square root under square root of x. So it will become here x power one by two times x power here square root under square root of x. So x power one by four times x power one by eight times x power one by sixteen times x power one by one by sixteen times x power one by thirty two. Is equal to eight. This is given. Now, this is multiplication form. So we are using here one formula that is a power. If it is given a power m times a power n, then we will get here a power m plus n. So it will become plus. So x power one by two plus x uh, into uh, x power one by four. So it will become in addition form. So x power One by two plus one by four plus one by eight plus one by sixteen plus one by thirty-two is equal to eight. Now, x power. We are taking LCM here, so x power thirty-two. So thirty-two. When we uh, we divide thirty-two by two, then we will get here sixteen. And after that, eight four eight is a thirty two eight eight four is a thirty two four sixteen two is a thirty two and thirty two is a thirty two that is one. Question ah uh, sorry is equal to eight. Now x power sixteen plus eight plus four plus two plus one. When we are adding this term, then we will get here uh, total is thirty one. So x power thirty one divided by thirty two. Is equal to eight, right? Now we have to cancel this value, uh, this power, because we have to find out the value of x. So we can take power. Uh, we can take in power. Taking power. Thirty-two divided by thirty-one. Thirty-two divided by thirty-one in both sides. Then we will get. X power thirty one divided by thirty two again thirty two divided by thirty one because we are taking in power this term is equal to eight power thirty two divided by thirty one. Now thirty two is cancelled from thirty two and thirty one is cancelled from thirty one. So value of x is equal to eight power thirty two divided by thirty one. This is the correct solution. This is first method. Now we are solving this uh, equation using second method. Let's say second method. Second method. So we are taking first question here. Square root of x 
under square root of x under square root of x under square root of x under square root of x is equal to 8 this is quotient so we have to find out the value of x now we can do here one thing taking square both side taking square both sides then we will get square root of x 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 is equal to 8 we are taking square both sides right now this square cancel this square root first one so we will get here x square root of x square root of x square root of x 1 2 3 4 and this one is 5 is equal to 8 square now again we have to take square here because we have to cancel this square root so taking square both sides then we will get x square root of x and this one is 5 1 2 3 4 5 taking we are taking square here is equal to 8 square and here again a square now this is square cancel this is square root so here this will become x square and this is x left term that is square root of x square root of x square root of x is equal to 8 power 2 to the 4 right now we have to cancel this square now this is square root so again same thing taking square both side taking square both sides so x square times x square root of x square root of x square root of x whole square is equal to 8 power 4 again here also square so this square is cancelled this is square root and x square times uh, power 2 then it will become 2 to the 4 so it will become x power 4 so x power 4 times this is x square this is x left term that is the square root of x square root of x is equal to 8 power 4 to the 8 8 power 8 right now we have to cancel this square uh, this is square root so again we are taking a square square both sides then we will get x power 4 times x square times x square root of x square root of x whole square is equal to 8 power 8 square now x power 4 times 2 so 4 to the 8 so it will become x power 8 times x power 2 times 2 so x power 4 x power 4 times x square times this square is cancelled from square root so x here and it will become square root x square root of x is equal to 8 power 8 to the 16 8 power 16 now we have to cancel this square root so we are again taking a square here both sides so taking square both sides then we will get x power 8 times x power 4 times x power 2 times x square root of x whole square is equal to 8 power 16 power 2 now x power 8 to the 16 into x power 4 to the 8 into x power 2 to the 4 into x power 2 into this square is cancelled from square root into x power 1 is equal to 8 power 16 to the 32 right now uh, x power 16 into x power 8 into x power 4 into x power 2 into x power 1 so uh, here again we are using formula a power m 
times a power n if it is given then we will write this a power m plus n so using this formula here we can write this x power 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to x power 32 is equal to we can write this when we are adding this term then we will get here x power 31 is equal to here this is 8 sorry 8 this is 8 power 32 is equal to 8 power 32 right now we can divide uh, both side in power by 31 so taking 31 taking 31 in power both sides uh, 1 upon 31 in power both sides then we will get x power 31 power 1 upon 31 is equal to 8 power 32 times 1 upon 31 is equal to x power 31 is cancelled from 31 so x is equal to 8 power 32 divided by 31 right and this is the solution we got uh, we got the same value in first method and same value in second that is x is equal to 8 power 32 divided by 31 so this is correct solution thank you